Hey everyone, welcome back to GeoGuessr Player play along. Today's maps are an improved world, no move, followed by a balanced world, no move, no pan, no zoom. So let's get started. We have improved world. Uh, so in the Netherlands, we've got yellow plates. Um, I don't think we're going to get any city names, so I really don't know. This could be uh, any city really. It feels like an inner city kind of suburb of quite a big big city maybe but um not too sure uh yeah so do i just go amsterdam rotterdam i don't know if it feels like amsterdam rotterdam utrecht den haag maybe um i think it's just a case of picking one i'm going to go for um i'm going to go for the haag um just a feeling but could be wrong i'm not too Good with regional Dutch like architecture and stuff. Let's just look to see if we miss any last minute clues. I don't think we have. Um, so let's guess. And okay, it was just suburban Amsterdam or Harlem. Okay, next round. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Driving left. Is this Bermuda? It's Bermuda. I think it might be. Um, yeah, this looks like Bermuda, kind of, um, Bermuda vibes, and we are driving left. I think Bermuda has British-style plates. We've got white on the front. Do we have any black plates? I don't think so. Yeah, but should be. Um, let's, let's see. I don't know where about to go. It's quite hilly. It's quite a rural location. Um, and we've got water to our south and then land in the distance so could we be here or here that's too urban there um yeah i don't know where we have water i think it's bermuda though um yeah let's just keep it here yeah nice okay it was further north um but good to get bermuda right um it surprised me if a lot of people struggled there, so uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many people got Bermuda, because a lot of the coverage, um, it's got pretty decent coverage, but a lot of it is ruined by uh, unofficial coverage, so you don't see it come up too often on GeoGuessr, so yeah, anyway, next round, let's see. Uh, let's see, we have uh, US or Canada, I'm wondering about Canada here. Feels a bit like Canada. We've got a very wide kind of road. Feels Canadian. Um, now whereabouts should I go? Could this just be Ontario or Manitoba? It's feeling like Western Ontario or Manitoba kind of area. Maybe fairly northern by a uh, Canadian standards. So northern, not like northern is in north, but north of the the main urban areas. So like maybe more. Deep Ontario or Manitoba, I don't know. Should I just go one of these towns here, maybe as a hedge? Could be wrong, but I think I'm pretty sure it's Canada. At least. I think this is a okay hedge for the areas I I'm feeling like, which is kind of around here. Oh nice, I'll take that, I'll take that. It was super close. It was Manitoba. Cool, yeah, that is a good Canada guess, wow. Nice one. And I'm in first place at the moment, so that's cool. Nice, next round, round four. Uh, can we keep it up? Uh, this should be Bangladesh. Uh, with the tuk-tuks. Uh, yeah, and this is a Bangladeshi script, so... I can't read the Bangladeshi script. Are these uh, town names, maybe this N... NVLJSR, that could be a bus route, so maybe we can find some towns that might match the uh, code. This this might not be a good strategy, but um, we'll see. NVL, can we find a town with like NVL? Not sure if we can, so maybe that JSR. They could be really small places, I don't know. Um, I don't think we're going to find, I can't really see, um, let's think, it's fairly flat, can't see too many palms, so maybe it might be further north a little bit, 
So let's hedge around here. Uh, okay, it was slightly south of where I um, plonked, but still a pretty good guess. Uh, it was a little northwest of Dakar. Maybe those, maybe those letter initials weren't um, town names. I don't know. I just thought it might be like town names on a bus route or something. Anyway, next round. Let's see. Still in first place, and what do we have? A smudged camera. Okay. Uh, we've got mountains here. This is North America for sure. Um, I can't remember if British Columbia has front plates or not, because this could just be Pacific. Northwest, it feels kind of western vegetation. This dry grass and these kind of trees, maybe. Is this Canada or is this US? It's uh, hard to say, hard to say. I don't think it's New Hampshire. I think it feels more western. Um, but, but yeah, I could be wrong. I could throw this one. Oregon. Maybe just like Oregon somewhere, I don't know. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's go here. And see, see what happens. Oh, it was, uh, it was BC, okay. I wasn't sure if BC had no front plate, so I couldn't quite remember, but yeah, fair enough. Uh, near Doreen, so we got 22,137, a bit of a miss on that last round, so... We probably got knocked out of first place. Let's see how we did. Okay, we're still in second place. So, uh, GG's to Green Decide there. Um, that was very close and really, really good to get a second place there. Um, let's see how you guys did. 133 people played. GG's. And let's have a look at the top 30. Uh, so, we had... Um, Hey, this Bermuda was interesting. How many people got Bermuda? Um, probably around half of the top 30 got it, but we did have some... Uh, we had a lot of US Virgin Islands guesses. Yeah, a lot of Virgin Islands guesses, um, but still good guesses, uh, recognising that it's this kind of, this part of the world, and Curacao, Curacao Aruba guesses as well. Um, that's funny, we have these Homer Simpsons, <laughs> two Homer Simpsons in the same place. Uh, yeah, interesting. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, we had, uh, yeah, a few guesses in other parts of the world as well. Um, so what did we have? This Ontario guess I'm happy with, that was probably one of the... Um, Best rounds for for me that uh, got me this uh, very high score. Uh, so yeah, I got super close there. Really happy about that. We had some guesses spread around kind of different parts of Canada, really. Some in the east, some in the west, and a few in the US as well. Uh, yeah, this... Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Nobody really getting close in uh, British Columbia. So everyone guessing, like... A lot further south, because that did look so dry. I think that was a bit of a bait, how dry it looked. Um, let's have a look at that again, because, yeah, that was the main round that cost me points. Yeah, because even now it, it looks quite green, and, like, it's not obvious that this is, like, a northern... It's not obvious that this is that far north at all. Um, so, yeah, that was a, that was an interesting round. Maybe there's like a there's like a blur meter on on that road or something, but uh, yeah, you'd have to know you'd have to know this meter to be able to get it. Yeah, this dry grass. I feel like I haven't seen many rounds like this, so that was super. Um, yeah, super unusual uh, for a round. You know, it's a bait when everyone guesses in the same area, but it's the wrong area. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was weird. Uh, Netherlands, yeah, everyone guessing uh, Netherlands, that was, uh, urban Netherlands is easy, I'd say urban Netherlands is easy to recognise, but it's not easy to recognise where in the Netherlands you are in a lot of cases, I think, uh, maybe, like, Friesland has some unique architecture sometimes, but, like, 
It's the middle of the Netherlands. I never know, you know, which area to guess. It's a, to me, it looks, I, I guess like Maastricht is quite unique as well, but the middle is like, you just don't know where to go. But yeah, it was Harlem here, so. Uh, yeah, let's see, what else did we have? Uh, Bangladesh. Um, yeah, also, again, people kind of scattered around the country. Um, I got a fairly close guess as well here, which helped. Um, and a lot of people guessing close to Dakar. Um, unsurprisingly. Uh, so, yeah, interesting game. Uh, let's move on to... Um, a balanced world, an MPZ. Now this is a notoriously baity map, has a lot of weird and baity locations, so let's see what we get. Um, very fun map to play. Now, is this Spain? It feels kind of like Spanish um, landscape. Uh, we, we've got the dotted lines as well. Is it a bait? I hope not. I don't think it's France or... I'd be surprised if it's Portugal. Um, with the dotted lines. So I'm going to go Spain. Where in Spain should I go? I don't think it's an island. I think it's... Mm, kind of green, dry and hilly. Like it could be around here somewhere. I don't know. I'm getting more Western vibes. Western Spanish vibes. Not like Northern, but maybe Western. Um, so, yeah. Just feeling it feels kind of closer to Portugal a little bit. With the landscape and stuff. Um, could be wrong though, let's see. Uh, let's go around, around here somewhere. Yeah, let's try that. Nice, okay, it was, it was even further west, and, uh, East German Bay getting a very close guess there. Uh, nice one. Uh, yeah, 80 km, 88 kilometers I'm happy with for a Spain guess, for sure, it's a, a big country, so, yeah, next round, let's see. Um, what do we have here? Um, we've got a fence. Now, my first thought is like Mexico or something, but this could be, I don't know, this could be a lot of places. It doesn't feel particularly Asian. It could be Colombia or something as well. I could easily see this being like a northern Colombia, maybe. I don't think it's Africa, just considering like which parts of the world this could be. I'm kind of vibing with Colombia a bit, with Mexico a bit, but it could be neither, it could be something else I haven't thought of or that hasn't come to mind. Sri Lanka, I don't think so. Um, I think I'm going Colombia. We've got the fences, um, somewhere flat maybe. Um, not sure about the poles, uh, also it's quite hidden so can't really make out much from that. Oh, it's Texas. Okay, Texas. Fair enough. Texas, let's see. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that, that just didn't come to mind. Um, but yeah, Texas also makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about the US at all. Yeah, one of those rounds where it's like, uh, it makes sense once the round is finished, but it didn't come to mind as you're playing. That, that happens quite a lot, so... Uh, yeah, well done to uh, Polo Wally getting close there. I think I was so focused on Latin America that I forgot about, like, thinking about the US. Next round. Uh, right, uh, okay. I think this is Cambodia. I think that's a Cambodian bollard, this uh, red and white stripy bollard here. And we've got these steel houses as well. Uh, yellow centre lines also make sense for Cambodia. Um... We're in Cambodia, it's quite flat. Um, yeah, I don't know where exactly. Maybe somewhere kind of in the middle. I think somewhere around here feels a bit like this. But not too sure. I don't think it's too far south. I suppose it could be up there. But I think it's quite dry up here, isn't it? I think it's quite dry and red. This is quite quite green, like, I think, I think it could be over here as well, kind of here or here, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to go around here, let's see, okay, it was a bit further east, yeah, okay, uh, cool, next round, let's see, 
Uh, this should be Bhutan with these. Uh, I don't actually know what, what what you call these, what they are, but uh, they're very Bhutanese. Um, I think it is, unless it's a bait, but oh, is this Bhutan. I haven't seen these in any other country. This is a balanced world. This is a bait map. Because some of the landscape feels a bit like Colombia or something as well. Gosh. This is throwing me off a bit. I think Bhutan can, can look a bit like this. Yeah. I think I'm sticking with Bhutan, but with with these flag flag things, but uh, it could easily be a bait. Let's see. Oh, okay, it was. Yeah, it was Bhutan. I don't know. It felt like I was I was doubting it because it felt a bit. Yeah, look at all this. Okay, it felt a bit dry. Like I wasn't sure if it was lush enough for Bhutan. Bhutan often looks quite lush. Um. But yeah, it was. I didn't quite quite get the right part. I'm not too, uh, um, I'm not too well practiced on uh, regions of Bhutan. Um, but yeah, happy to get that correct. Very uh, cool country. I'd, I'd love to visit sometime. This is a really cool spot, actually. Um, yeah, look at all this. If anyone knows what these white flags are for, I'm curious to know because they are everywhere. But I, I have no idea what their um, what their function is. So yeah, let me know if you. Let me know in the comments if you are aware what they're for, because I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if they're related to prayer flags or or something. Um, next round. Okay. Uh, right, this should be Japan. Um, Japanese traditional kind of house. And I, I think that's a Japanese pole as well. Uh, we're in Japan. This feels... We've got these... Kind of hydrangea nice flowers could this be like a weird island i know debray likes to put a lot of kind of island outer islands in um in this map so this could be just some island like out i don't know where but it feels a bit it feels kind of lush and southern a bit so i, I wonder if i should just guess like here to kind of hedge down here to kind of hedge up here like it could be one of these it doesn't. It doesn't feel northern to me, um, but Japan is huge. It's very hard to get to know all the regions. Um, Gen four camera. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm sticking with this. Okay, it was just. Well, it was an island, but it was off. Just on on a bridge connected to the the mainland. So, yeah, maybe I. Maybe maybe I went a bit too pog factor there, uh. But yeah, it was Japan. At least it was still fairly southern. So, uh, yeah. Let's see the summary. We have seventeen thousand nine hundred fifty-eight. The main miss was this Texas. Um. So really happy with Spain. Glad I recognised Bhutan and uh. Cambodia was uh, uh, easy to recognize. Um, yeah, a little bit off by, uh, a little bit off in Japan, but not nothing too disastrous. Uh, so yeah, interesting round. Let's see how you guys did. Okay, we're in eleventh place. One hundred twenty people played. So GGs, everyone. Uh, let's see the top thirty. Okay, so GGs to everybody in the top thirty. Uh, let's see how the scores went. Um, so Texas, one that I missed. Texas, we had only three people getting Texas. Okay, that makes me feel better that a significant number of people went Colombia, and a significant number of people also went Mexico. I was fifty fiftying Mexico Colombia. I would have got more more points if I went Mexico. Um, but yeah, it was Texas. A uh, few in Brazil and Argentina as well, so, and African countries as well. So yeah, that was uh, definitely tricky. Uh, what about Bhutan? How many people? 
Most people got most people did get Bhutan in the top thirty. A couple of uh, Nepal guesses. Nepal doesn't have much coverage. It has a few trekker locations, but no official like road coverage in Nepal. Um, same thing with India. Pretty much not really much coverage there. And we had one in Greece. Uh, so yeah, GG's on uh, most people getting Bhutan correct. Uh, right, we had Cambodia. We had um, the red and white bollards helped a lot and. Quite a few Thailand guesses as well. Thailand kind of very similar. But yeah, the main thing was the stilt house and the red and white bollards. The stilt houses are very, very common in Cambodia. Um, wow, well, a uh, very pog fact to guess there. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Uh, we had uh, one in southern Thailand as well. What did we have Japan? Yeah. Okay, I I went too far south. I should have just mainland. I kind of mostly went like this because it's a balanced world. I was expecting it to be some like outer outer island location, but it was just kind of within the mainland area. Um. But yeah, I guess it's kind of scattered all around. Uh, nobody going too far north. Um. Spain, uh, a couple in Portugal, but most people are getting Spain, um, and most people are getting kind of the western part. So, uh, yeah, GG's there, very good guesses there. Yeah, two very good games and a good variety of interesting rounds, and, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be putting the links to Tuesday's challenges in the description below. Uh, yeah, and thank you everyone for playing, watching, uh, commenting, and so on. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.